In southwest Colorado, a celebration marking 10 years of environmental and cultural preservation, the establishment of America's national conservation lands, 27 million acres of the American Wild West, administered by the Bureau of Land Management. Whether it be cultural or ecological or scientific or archaeological, they're just a wealth of information, experience, heritage, and natural beauty. National monuments, conservation areas, scenic and historic trails, and wilderness areas are just a few of the types of conservation lands that exist throughout the western United States. Their value is scientific, recreation, and even spiritual with the peaceful solitude they provide. The stated mission to conserve, restore, and protect public lands for current and future generations to enjoy. These lands, like canyons of the ancients, are really where the American experience began thousands and thousands of years ago. And if we're serious about preserving and interpreting and understanding the full American experience, then we have to save these lands and protect them. Many national conservation land areas are unknown and undeveloped, offering a primitive experience for visitors. Much like national parks, these places are important examples of rare and uniquely American landscapes. Most Americans don't think of BLM lands in the same way they think of national parks. But some of these lands are every bit as important and significant in terms of their natural resources, their historic and cultural resources, as national parks. But unlike national parks, these places are dependent upon volunteers to maintain and enrich these public lands. Volunteer, partner, and friends groups across America donate hundreds of thousands of man hours every year and help raise millions of dollars in order to enhance the visitor experience. We have site stewards that monitor the condition of archaeological sites, trail information specialists that talk to visitors, wilderness study area monitors, and then all of the people that come together at our special event volunteer projects like National Public Lands Day. It's our land, uh, you know, it, we should be taking care of it. and. Uh, it's just a good feeling to volunteer and get something done and, uh, and take responsibility for protecting the land. Basically, I think for me, it's just a matter of conserving natural areas for the enjoyment of, of uh, generations to come. First established by President Clinton in 2000, the National Landscape Conservation System Act was not officially authorized until Congress finally acted in 2009 the first time in decades that a public land system has been created. This designation permanently protects these areas and also allows Americans to help shape their future. Lack of federal funding, however, may be the biggest threat to conservation lands. Once these places are gone, they're gone forever. So we need to do more to provide staffing and just basic maintenance of these places so that they can be preserved. For Assignment Earth, I'm Bruce Burkhart.